guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Thursday. It is vlog day. But before we get into the vlog, I just want to give you a forewarning that this specific vlog has a lot of announcements. And that is because there are a lot of things coming up in April and May and June. So I do announce a lot of things in this video and I'm trying to space them out, which is why I'm coming on here at the beginning of this vlog. And also because this is really important. So this is for my domestic book tour for 2018. So there has been a slight change in the dates for Los Angeles and Calgary. So for Los Angeles, the date has been changed to Thursday, May 24th. For Calgary, the date has been changed to Saturday, May 26th. I also am going to reveal right now in like four seconds, <laughs> the venue for Los Angeles. And throughout my vlogs in April, I will be revealing venues in each one of my vlogs. They're not really going to be in any particular order. It just depends on who I've received confirmation from in terms of the venues. And the Los Angeles book tour stop is going to take place a little differently than some of the other book tour stops, which is why I want to announce that one first. So I am so honored and thrilled and excited and when I got the email, it just, you know, basically moved me to tears. But my book tour stop in LA on Thursday, May 24th, will be at the last bookstore at 7.30 p.m. Having an author event and a book signing at this store has been a dream of mine for a very, very long time. So I'm trying not to get too emotional, but I will leave the link to the documentary in the description box below about The Last Bookstore and how it was started. So I had already been a longtime fan of The Last Bookstore, and then especially when I watched that documentary, it just really moved me. So just recently, The Last Bookstore changed their process for events, and they actually have them as ticketed events. And the ticket price is actually just the cost of the book. And then it will be an additional $3 for a guaranteed seat. So since Be Your Own Hashtag Goals, my personal development book, is releasing right before this book tour. That is the book that I submitted to them. So that is the book that you will be able to purchase as your ticket to get into the event at the last bookstore. The event will still be free and available for anybody to attend, but only ticket holders will be guaranteed a book or a book and their seat. So for those of you living in Los Angeles who are planning on coming to this book tour stop, I would highly recommend following me on social media and also being signed up for my newsletter at kristenmartinbooks.com because I will be sending out a lot of information over the month of April to make sure that we are all set to go for the book tour when it starts in May. It's also best to purchase your tickets for the last bookstore for this event as early as you possibly can. So that way you can guarantee yourself a copy of my book to have signed. And then you're also guaranteed a seat when I'm actually there at the store. Like I mentioned, not all of my book tour stops are going to work like this. So that's why I wanted to come on here and announce this LA book tour stop first, because I want to make sure everyone had enough time to get their tickets. So that way we could meet in person. So again, make sure you're following me on social media, sign up for my newsletter. And once I have the link for the event to where you can buy your ticket for the last bookstore for my book signing, I will leave it linked in the description box below. And again, I'll blast it out on social media and in my newsletter as well. I am so incredibly excited for this book tour. I cannot wait to meet everyone. I'm so excited and so honored to have my very first book signing at the last bookstore. Words cannot even express how much that means to me. So I really hope to see all of you there in Los Angeles if you live in the area. And let's go ahead and roll right into this announcement filled vlog. guys it is friday march 23rd i woke up a little bit late got kind of a late start started doing stuff in my home office and i need to get on the road to head to the actual office so got a lot going on today it's a busy friday but it's all good so yeah just gonna take you guys along on my day all righty i've got a month's work of recycling in the back. It's been a while, these are so dirty. Beautiful day, 77 degrees, sunny. I just realized by the time you guys see this vlog, I will have revealed the cover and the release date, as well as the title, Be Your Own Hashtag Goals for my personal development book. So 
that's really exciting. You guys excited for it? Because I am. Okay, I need to really get my life together because I am. I'm running late. <laughs> all morning doing customer meetings it is 11 40 I just made it back to the woodlands and I'm actually going to go eat it's, can't even see it behind me can you I'm going to eat at Nordstrom because they have an awesome cafe in there and it just sounds really good okay I'm back in my car now lunch was awesome you can see I have I had some leftovers <laughs> it's a really big sandwich but I am sitting at the drive through car wash just because the pollen in Texas right now is ridiculous. So I'm gonna run my car through the car wash and then that'll pretty much be the end of my lunch break. And I'm gonna stop by the office to work on a few things, pick up some stuff, and then I'll be heading home. Oh my gosh, so it is 3.45 in the afternoon. I'm leaving because I got a lot done. When I opened up my laptop this morning to check my emails, I had over 350 emails. That is insanity. I normally have around like 115. I was just working my little butt off. Oh, all day, all day long, working my butt off. So I'm really tired and that's why I'm leaving at 345 because it's Friday and I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm ready to go home and I'm ready to just not wear work clothes and put on pajamas and just relax. What is my hair doing? I don't know. Okay, time to put a podcast on. Cross my fingers there's no traffic. Let's go home. Why is there traffic right now? Come on. Oh, I am home finally. Time to put some PJs on. I'm officially in my comfy clothes, resting on the couch. I'm gonna turn on the TV. I'm only gonna watch stuff for an hour just to kind of decompress from the day. Well, under the Lahiri regime, all voices will be heard. Dr. Lahiri, not now with the part of the presentation. <laughs> all right, I am in my home office now. <laughs> it's 6.50 in the evening. I've just been working on some stuff. I was shooting some photos real quickly, which is why suddenly I have red lipstick on. But I did wanna let you guys know of something that I've been working really, really hard over the past couple of weeks to create. I actually created a free guide called How to Write Your Book in Three Months. And I created a four-part video training series that talks about my author journey and how I designed a life that I love. So if you are interested in getting that free guide, just go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com. There will be a pop-up box. You just enter your email address and then the guide will be emailed to you within 30 minutes or so. And if that pop-up box doesn't show up, you can always scroll to the bottom and subscribe that way. So I really hope that you guys enjoy that free guide. And I also hope that you enjoy the four part video training series. That guide is also a great precursor to the types of things that we go over in my coaching program for writers called Valiance. So again, that'll just give you a little taste as to what the program's all about. Of course, Valiance is much more detailed. So that guide is more of a high level overview, but at least you'll get an idea as to the types of topics and things we'll go over in more detail. And I am going to pop up my social media on the screen in one of these corners because I do post on social media on a very regular basis, almost daily, and I only post to YouTube twice a week. So if you wanna stay up to date on free content that I'm creating and putting out there for you, make sure you're following me on social media, most notably Instagram, because that's where I post everything. Okay, I'm going to get back to working on stuff. I've had a few ideas for podcasts kind of enter my mind. So I'm going to go ahead and jot down a few notes in my notebook so I don't forget them. And the red lipstick is gone. I can only wear it for so long, especially when I'm trying to relax. But I also just realized that when you guys see this in two weekends, I will have a bunch of lovely ladies, author tubers, flying out to Texas to come to my house for the author tube retreat. I am so, so excited for this event. I can't wait to finally meet 
all of these wonderful women in person because I, you know, I watch their videos and we collab and you know, we chat on a regular basis and we're each other's support system. So I'm so excited to meet everyone in person. I'm so excited to vlog that weekend. And you know, me being all type A and everything, I had already created a spreadsheet a couple of weeks ago asking for everyone to start putting in their collaboration ideas and signing up for the different collabs so that way we can get all of our videos ready to go and we can make the most out of the short time that we all have together. So I'm really looking forward to two weekends from now. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It is going to be so much fun. So be expecting a ton of collaboration videos in the month of April <laughs> from a good majority of us author tubers and also stay tuned for some vlogs. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who's going to be vlogging the weekend. I hope not. I hope everyone else is going to vlog as well so that we can see the different sides and perspectives depending on what and when people were filming. So I really need to just take a break from all this nonsense. I have just been in front of screens all day long and it is 7.30. So it's about time where I need to go sit down, relax, maybe start reading. I did not journal today. So I think what I'm going to do is journal, do my mantras and affirmations and my whole gratitude practice, which I wish I had done this morning, but I woke up just ready to go ready to get the day started and then I started running late. <laughs> what do you think about that? I love you. And real quick, I do wanna highlight my Minx Lit Box for March because I absolutely love what was in this box. The theme for the month of March is Vlog Boss. And you can see the book by Amy Schmittauer, Schmittier, I don't know how to say her name. Again, so bad with names. But her book called Vlog Like a Boss, How to Kill It Online with Video Blogging. So that's wonderful. So the first thing in here is a She Persisted notepad, which is basically a to-do list type notepad. You guys know how much I love that kind of stuff. There's also a white tea and berries four ounce candle from Sugar Bell Candles. There is a lava clay and honey facial mask from Savenology. And it also comes with stuff for your actual camera. So it comes with a three-in-one fish eye lens and also a mini tripod with mount. For those who don't know, the Minx Lit Box is for the bold, beautiful, and creative. So if you're a writer, an entrepreneur, a girl boss, these boxes always have just amazing tools and resources for you. Every single month is a subscription box. So if you want to save 10% on your order, I will pop my discount code up on the screen. Just go to minxlit.com to place your order today. Okay, it is time for PO Box haul. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of stuff and I'm falling behind. So as you can see behind me, there's it's like piled up here. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 pretty tall. So real quick, I do wanna thank Shannon for writing me such a sweet card. I really, really appreciate it. And like I said, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna be reading through the letters on screen anymore because it does just, you know, it takes a lot of time. And my vlogs are already long enough as it is. But I will be unboxing the packages to show you guys some of the things I've received. So let's start with this package from Sarah from Illinois. This is absolutely incredible. Her book is called Finding Myself Facing Cancer. It's by Sarah Falk. And I just wanna read her little bio in the back so you guys can know more of what this book is about. Because this is something that is really, really close to me, near and dear to my heart, which I've opened up about the fact that I had precancerous cells in my body when I was 27 years old. So this is definitely an issue that is just really close to me. So Sarah, I just wanna thank you for sending this to me and I, I cannot wait to read it. I feel like it's gonna be so inspirational and it's probably going to make me cry. But let me just read her bio so you guys can get a feel for who Sarah is. Sarah Fenlon Falk survived cancer as a 17 year old teen and then again as a 41 year old mother. She is wife to Pete and mother to Bobby, Teddy, Sam, and Will. When she's not spending time with family or friends, writing, creating videos for YouTube, or making music, she is with clients at her mental health private practice. Sarah has written all of her life and has finally decided it's time to share her writing. She hopes the telling of her journey will encourage others. So that's absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to read this. And Sarah, I wanna thank you so much for thinking of me and for sending me a copy of this book. I truly, truly appreciate it. The next package is a very large one. It is from Suzanne in California. She sent me some pens, lots of pens, love that, as well as some stationery, which is so pretty. I don't know if it's really coming across. The sun should be going down, but I guess we're in spring now, so it's gonna stay up. It's gonna stay up later. 
She also got me this notebook and I could see the tag back here from TJ Maxx. This is one of the notebooks that I bought a while ago. Mine was in like a baby pink color and they're all out of them here in Texas or at least to the one that I go to. So <gasps> thank you so much because it's in this teal color. This is my favorite color and it's like my favorite style notebook. And she sent me another notebook that says every day is a new adventure. So Suzanne, thank you so much. This makes my little nerd office supplies heart really happy because I, you guys know how much I love office supplies. I have a problem with hoarding books and I also hoard office supplies. Next is a package from Beth in Louisiana. And I'm so sad because it looks like this got a little bit chipped, but this is absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's like a steeper for tea or maybe, I don't know, I don't know, but it's so cute. I'm loving the whole like Japanese vibe that's going on here. She also sent me a bunch of different teas to try, which is so exciting. Ah! Okay, great. And it looks like it's a little crawfish with a little Mardi Gras mask. <laughs> this is my new mascot, this is amazing. And in true Louisiana style, she sent me some beads and also some pens and pencils and it says, Lake Charles, Louisiana, more alligators than people, which is so true because I have been to Lake Charles and there were a lot of alligators. The next package I received is from Gabrielle, Gabrielle, Gabrielle Wick, Wyke, I'm sorry. I'm so bad with saying names, but she actually wrote her book to no end. It's book one. And first of all, this cover is phenomenal. Second of all, I read her really heartfelt letter and she actually wrote like a little shout out to me in her acknowledgements, which I cannot tell you guys when you send me your books. First of all, when you send me your books in general, that's just an amazing feeling for me because I love books and I love adding them to my bookshelf. And of course I love reading, but also when you tell me that you've, you've put me in your acknowledgements, like that is just, that just blows my mind. And it just makes everything, all the struggles or the hard times that I have, or when I'm just feeling really down on myself to, to know that I'm helping people and inspiring people and helping them reach their dreams and that I am in the acknowledgement section of books is just makes all the trials and tribulations and all the challenges worth it. So I just wanna say thank you so much. This means a lot to me and I cannot wait to dive into it. Okay friends, it is 9.30, which means I'm shutting down this vlog. I am signing off for the evening. Today was a long, productive day. It was a great day, but I feel as though I have earned some well-deserved shut-eye. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel. You can also support me through my Jubilant link, which is listed in the description box below. Don't forget to get your free guide, how to write your book in three months on my website, as well as to sign up for my monthly newsletter. You can do that at kristenmartinbooks.com and then enter your email address in the pop-up box that appears. If it doesn't appear, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the website and sign up that way. Just to let you know, you are not able to do that on iPhone or Android. It's a technical glitch and it's something I'm working on. So you will have to access that from a laptop or desktop computer. Make sure you're following me on social media, most notably Instagram, but you can also follow me on Twitter and Snapchat and you can like my Facebook page as well. The links are in the description box below. Again, I only post on YouTube twice a week, but I'm on social media daily. So if you wanna stay up to date and be the first to know about the things that are going on with me, with my book tour, with all this crazy stuff that's going on, make sure you're following me there. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. My proof copy of Be Your Own Hashtag Goals just got here. So I want to open it on camera because I don't think I've actually filmed me kind of like unboxing one of my books before. So I thought this would be kind of a fun thing to do. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So of course when I hold any of my books in my own two hands for the very first time, it's an amazing feeling, but this one's just especially special because I designed the cover, the spine, the back cover. So I did I did everything. I designed all of it, I did the formatting. So the fact that this is just completely my creation and that I was the only person who who touched all the pieces of this is just a really, oh, 
I can't even put that into words. It's really, really neat. So, so excited because now I have my proof. I'm able to go through it and edit it and see just what it looks like and the feel of it and the flow of it as I'm reading through and turning the pages. So there it is, guys. Be your own hashtag goals. Mm -hmm.